is Dr. Janet Bruno. Today I want to continue on with the discussion about autoimmune diseases. Now there, there are some very interesting and unusual facts about autoimmune diseases that I'd like to talk about today. Now because of the seriousness of the many diseases that really make up the category of autoimmune disorders, researchers have accumulated a very impressive base of scientific studies that really look at almost every different aspect of autoimmune disease. Now the result of all of these efforts is a compilation of data which when you look at it it's very intriguing and there's a lot of unusual facts about the demographics and about the occurrence of autoimmune disorders. For instance, let me share just a few. More than 250 million people in the United States are diagnosed yearly with one of the 40 different autoimmune disorders. Now very interestingly, more women than men are afflicted, are, are given these diagnoses. And the difference is not small, it's actually very substantial, reaching almost 300% more women get autoimmune diseases than men. Now what's also interesting is practically one in every 30 Americans will actually have an autoimmune disorder. And it's predicted, the data is always a little bit behind reality, it's predicted that by the end of 2010, there will be almost over 15 million people who suffer from autoimmune diseases. So this is a big thing. And what's really unusual about autoimmune disorders is the fact that the cases increase substantially the farther you go from the equator. Now, if you've never heard this before, it may seem very odd, but it's very strongly documented. So in fact, the phenomenon has really led researchers to try to theorize why that happens. And one of the theories initially was that autoimmune disorders may have something to do with the magnetic poles. Well, further research has proven that that's not the case at all. Um, but it is clear, and so I, want, I don't want to confuse it, it is absolutely clear that autoimmune diseases are more common the further you get away from the equator. That part is clear, but understanding why that is the case is yet to be fully, truly, without any doubt, proven. So what they've shown is that, um, like I said, it is more common the further from the equator. So past and present research have shown really conclusively that an autoimmune disease like multiple sclerosis is more than 100 times more prevalent, more likely to happen near the North Pole as compared to if you lived on the equator. 100 times more likely. So it's a very strong correlation. And the exact reason, once again, is not fully understood. Now one of the most unusual and alarming facts that's been discovered about autoimmune disorders is that they tend to afflict a specific type of person. Now researchers have found over and over that an overwhelming number of cases that a person with one type of autoimmune disease was very likely to have one or more of another type of autoimmune disorders. So clearly there are certain factors existing within that person which makes them more susceptible to getting another autoimmune disease. Now after much research, scientists have pinpointed sunlight exposure, or lack thereof, as a, predispo a predisposing factor, so a reason why you might get autoimmune disease. Well this link has led to possibly both dairy consumption and saturated fat intake as factors in multiple sclerosis. Studies have done that. Now you want, may wonder what on earth does light have to do with dairy consumption and saturated fat. Well, so let me explain. The correlation became increasingly clear when they did view and understand that the sunlight ex exposure was a prime factor in causing the disease. Now in places far away from the equator, it's pretty clear that people receive less sunlight. Well, this often leads to vitamin D deficiency. When studies show that autoimmune disorders were less common in coastal areas, not necessarily saying where they are in relation to the equator, they found a few interesting things. They found that people that lived in the coast 
tended to eat fish, which had omega-3, which is very healthy for this. And they also tended to have relatively low dairy consumption, because they got their protein from the fish and they, they drank water more often, and the cows aren't present on the coast. And they also had relatively low saturated fat consumption. So they found that those things combined, there was much less autoimmune disorder in people that live on the coast. Now the animal protein in milk and the saturated fat component is actually known to inhibit the activation of vitamin D. This has been well researched long ago. So it's theorized that a diet higher in animal protein, a diet higher in milk, and a diet higher in saturated fat, irregardless of how much sunlight exposure is present, may indeed lead to a deficiency of vitamin D. And this vitamin D deficiency has well been known and, and well researched to be a primary causative factor in autoimmune disorders. So the preliminary research is very strongly pointing that there is a link of autoimmune disorders to diet. So with significant research underway, it's quite promising that the link of diet to autoimmune disorders can be explored much further. Early research has already demonstrated that optimal diets can indeed slow down the autoimmune disease if it has already started. And my hope is that with further research, we can actually crack the code and actually determine how to prevent autoimmune diseases entirely. Prevention is what it's all about. So I hope you found this useful. This is kind of a deep dive into some, like I said, some unusual facts about autoimmune disease. This is Dr. Janet Bruno. Wishing you a healthy and a happy day.